So tell me a bit about how that song came into existence. Well, um, Sigmund Asleep was uh, born when um, I was watching MTV, or it might even have been EH1, VH1, um, and I saw a pop artist doing some kind of acoustic thing, and um, I just sat down at my little table and I was like, hey, I could do that. And then I uh, just, you know, strummed out a couple simple chords. I had some um, lyrics written out that I'd gone through a uh, thesaurus that like I wanted to use in songs and so it happened that like five of the words I did I said lyrics I meant words five of the words out of my list of like 50 happened to actually go into the song and it all just kind of built from there so after releasing like a kind of tried and true power pop album you've got this new acoustic EP coming out what sort of prompted that idea or that transition? Um, well, it was originally supposed to be five songs, and now we, we chopped it down to three. Um, but I had had some really awesome um, like acoustic-based songs written, and I was like, man, like why are these just sitting on my you know laptop with my like built-in my shitty demos, um, you know? And I thought it would be a quick um, process, the recording process be quick um, and I just I really wanted to just get them out so I thought it'd be a cool idea and also show you know that you know we're capable of uh, you know creating mul multiple genres even though you know that's sometimes frowned upon for bands but I don't really care mm -hmm. so was the name of the band at all inspired by the mid 90s Mariah Carey as a mob waitress classic wise gals how did you know Got us. Love that movie. No, it was not. Um, I was hanging out with a friend one day, and I um, was, had, you know, was starting a new project, and um, had the idea in my head. My friend was making me a logo, and I was like, I want something like, you know, I really wanted to take like female power and really put it out there because um, in my previous project, The Lookaways, we were a punk band. And it was just, I got so frustrated being, you know, 18, 19, 20, busting my ass in this band, doing everything, writing songs, and like all that ever mattered was like how the person looks. And you know, it still is relevant, but like I just wanted to be like, fuck all of that. Let's like, this is like a female musician, you know, like I've been doing music for as long as I can remember, writing songs, playing guitar, I played, t took drum lessons when I was young, and it's, um, I just really wanted it to be like, like a powerful woman who is not going to put up with shit, which, you know, I'd like to think that I am, <laughs> and um, so I came up, you know, came up with the name, and it was also influenced by the Strokes management company, WizKid, because I knew that was their management company, and I always thought it was such a cool name, and I'm like, man, like, I want that name, and then I'm like, oh, I could have that name, you know, just tweaked a little bit. So, what are you, what are you listening to right now? What are? Chachi. Better question. What just happened? Uh -oh. Chachi fell off the TV. Hey. Chachi. My cat just fell off the TV. Chachi. I thought cats were supposed to have impeccable balance. It's okay. Oh, it's okay. Oh, you got yeah. It's okay. Candy camera, huh? Chachi. Chachi! Um, yeah, my cat fell off the TV and knocked down his cat. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Come, Come say hello. Come on. It's okay. Don't go back up there. Don't go back. Wait, so what was the question? <laughs> what else, what artists are you listening oh. to these days? Um, I, man. I feel like I've been going back. I've been going back in time, which is usually the case. Um, but I, I, I am always listening to um, Tegan and Sarah. I really love them. I really got into the uh, most recent Paramore album, which I live. Um, that, but um, that definitely didn't really have an influence on this stuff. But um, and an artist, um, Allison Weiss. I 
fucking love. She's awesome. What about you guys? All I do is listen to the Beatles. You always say uh, that. That's I listen to the Beatles true. all the time uh, too, but that's it. Yeah. Okay. So, I've been listening to Hall and Oates actually. Ooh, Hall that's good. Yeah. That's good stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah. So anything else? So you've got the acoustic EP coming out later this year. Any other projects in the pipeline? Um, yeah, the acoustic EP. I think the release is like uh, I think it was like August sixteenth or fifteenth. It's like the third Tuesday in August. Um, that's going to be released then. We're playing at uh, Bowery Electric on June twenty sixth, which is a Thursday at eight p.m. Um, and yeah, just just you know, working with our team to really push the EP and um, move along. Thanks. All right. Thank you. Cool.